Hey you guys, it's Annie with Salt Town Realty. It's Friday, which means it's fabulous Friday finds. Um, I've got two houses picked out today. One is a super cute mid-mod, uh, kind of like entry mid-mod house um, that I'm loving. And the other one is one that I meant to see a couple weeks ago, but I missed my showing time. And so we're gonna go see it today. So both are fabulous and I hope you enjoy. Bye. are in the 13th and 13th area and you'll know that because you get a little bit of view because we're up on the hill and then also we have all of these beautiful brick tutors this area if you know you know it's a very nice zone and look at this cute little house this cute little garage little brick bungalow let's take a look inside here is where we will drink our cocktails admire this gorgeous door this like heavy wood door and then you guys look at this amazing mid-mod house oh i'm already loving it the ceilings are actually like they feel really tall compared to a lot of these bungalows and these built-ins are just a delight real wood the stained glass does admire it and I'm a sucker for a Dutch door. Everyone knows this. <laughs> so this cute little kitchen, nice and bright. The light in here is amazing. And I kind of like the mix, like the older range, but then like the wine fridge. <laughs> so all right. This is our back bedroom. Probably used to be like a little, you know, enclosed um, patio thing. And here's our bathroom. A little vintage, love it or hate it. Oh, these Dutch doors. I just like loving these Dutch doors. Like you don't usually see these on interior like bedroom walls. It's too cute. Oh, I just, yeah, I'm just really loving this whole scene. Okay, let's go downstairs. Okay, so from the kitchen, I'm gonna head down stairs and this is like surprisingly tall down here too like i cannot touch the ceiling when i'm just arm above my head so cute cute i mean just like a nice little tidy finished basement Here's our water heater furnace reading nook storage ample storage and what's this? And laundry and a little bathroom. <laughs> that tub. That's legit. That's borderline. I should take my classic photo in there. Oh, in the toilet. Oh, that's cool. Always, always, uh, you never know what's around each corner in these older houses sometimes. We're gonna check out the outside. So we've got a deck that needs a little love, and we've got a good-sized garage there. It's a cute little path, lots of lots of opportunity to make it your own. Got a tough shed and a dog run, and this cute little situation, and a hot tub and a tree. What else do you need in life? You know what? This place has a lot of potential. That sounds real realtory, but it's the truth. So this place is special because some people might just have to live in this neighborhood. Like we're right, right by Westminster, we're up on the hill. It's definitely like the Harvard Yale entry zone. Like people love this zone. This house is $635,000. It's got that mid-mod appeal upstairs and then a yard and a basement that you can make your own. Like this is totally that house that in five or 10 years, you'll tell people what you paid for it and they'll be like, how did you get, oh, I should have bought then. Oh, it's crazy. Like this has that total charm thing going on without being a $900,000 house. So that's what I have to say about this house. We are in such a cool location. So East High School's right there. And look at, we're looking down Ninth South. I'm gonna try not to get hit by a car. Look at what you can see. The whale. So very cool location. 
very cool house. I'm excited to see this one. It's got a lot of character, how we all love. So, these sandstone stairs. Okay, let's check her out. Let's take a step inside the house. Loving this little entryway. I am already loving this entire house. Like, let's look at this light fixture. How cool. Well, there's going to be lots of cool things in this house. Okay, so loving the beans, loving this nice big room, loving how quiet it is considering it's on 9th. Like, that's kind of wild all by itself. So this might be like my favorite iteration of um, like sort of more modern kitchens. Like this feels like maybe late 90s, early aughts. I could be wrong. I also love that you cannot really tell when it was done. But this kind of warm wood and greens was really popular during that certain period of time. And I personally love it. And these glass cabinets are really classy. Little laundry room. I'm going in a weird order. So laundry room, utility sink. I love my utility sink. And then that goes into the backyard. Oh God, you guys, I might really like this house. All right, we have this delightful little sunroom here to chill and hang out and read a book. Dining room. Oh, these doll ceilings. Oh, I don't want to live here. I've decided. Okay, nice big closet and this cute little study, like with the wallpaper and the built-ins. They just don't make things how they used to. Look at how beautiful this is. And then you've got a Jack and Jill ensuite. So again, this tile is like, when did they put it in? Not entirely sure. Love that. Ooh, these people were tall though. <laughs> I can have tall the sink is. Um, okay, this is the primary built-ins. Oh, really beautiful. Just came upstairs. There's our sunroom for context. And this is the cute little odd shaped attic that I was really excited to see when I saw this listing. So you could have a guest stay here, you could chill out and read, do homework, whatever. And then let's come up here. It's unusual. Oh, so cute. All right, so we've got this little room. A little built in over there. And then I'm obviously on sighting this little closet and <laughs> oh yeah you step down into this cute bathroom how adorable <laughs> and then um and then you get into this other bedroom so if you had a couple of kids you know and then we're back around again to here so like some roommates or a couple of kids or a couple of whoever and just to reiterate, they can, one can have this cool room and then a big closet and this door and they can share this bathroom. And it's just adorable. I love that. Sorry, I'm just admiring this house and walking around it again. And just like, I was like, if I lived here, I'd put my desk right here because look at that beautiful tree and you've got a little bit of a view of like the city downtown but then you also live on this like beautiful street with all these other fancy people and you can just walk down to 9th and 9th. It's really, this is really a lovely house, I promise. <laughs> Check out the outside. So there's our sunroom again, context. And then there's that little laundry room. So you could have a little bistro table here. Then you've got this beautiful backyard. I love that you can see like these big trees, but they're not yours to deal with, haha. -ha. Um, you know, it would look great here. It's a hot tub, obviously. And then it's got this adorable little flex space over here. I think they might even be like a mother-in-law. Let's check it out. Love that, obviously. So look at this adorable little flex space with their color-coded books. This could be, and it's got a little mini split. This could be your office. This could be your art room, this could be your yoga room, this could be whatever you wanted it to be. I love it. And as if this house doesn't have enough great things, you also have a two-car garage that comes in off of 9th. So 
it's basically got everything. I can't believe this hasn't sold, quite frankly. This place is amazing. I want it. You guys, I missed a whole basement. <laughs> it's like ready to leave. And I guess it's something about a roughed in half bath. Holy hell. Yep, yeah, it's got a whole really tall basement too. Crazy. I think it is down here. It's seriously very tall down here. Um, and then this must be, so another spot for laundry hookups. I mean, this must be the half bath? No? What is this half bath they were talking about? Okay, <laughs> wander around this house and see what I'm missing. But this is pretty great for storage. This is really great for storage. I can't even. Okay, I legitimately don't know where this half bath, this future half bath is. And this house I've looked all over the place. Maybe it's that laundry room to the side there. I don't know. Anyway, uh, point being is thank you for watching. Uh, I'm in love with this home. I'm going to just hang out here for a second, I think. Um, and I hope you guys have an amazing holiday season and New Year's and all those things. Um, I, oh, I might film next week. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. But anyway, Merry Christmas. Bye.